Hey everybody, in this tutorial we're going to cover the updated workflow for bringing your DAS Genesis 8 character into iClone. So we've made a number of different improvements and I'll talk about those in just a moment here. On the screen you can see uh, one of our power users 3D test here showing off uh, one of the uh, characters doing some facial mocap and I'll show you a little bit more of that at the very end using our character. Uh, pretty cool stuff. Now there is a couple of companion tutorials that go with this tutorial here. Uh, one is about how to, it goes into more detail on how to convert your character in 3D Exchange. And the other one is also uh, optimizing your DAS Genesis 8 characters materials in iClone. And I'll provide links in the description for those as well. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is uh, let's go ahead and take a look first at the comparison between the old and the new versions. So the new Dyson file that we've uh, updated here, you can see the comparison from the old version to the new version, uh, the left and the right there. Um, the newer version, we have much more distinct and much more accurate and detailed facial expressions. We've improved a lot of those along the way. Um, so you'll be able to see those in just a moment as we run through this tutorial. Uh, but let's go ahead and get started, first of all. So if you want to find the DAS Genesis extension uh, pack here, or the DAS Genesis extension files, you need to purchase the 3D Exchange pipeline. Okay, so once you've done that, I'll show you where you can find it. Okay, just go to your Reillusion main page. Just go up here to your account. Make sure you're logged in and go to My Account. And then after My Account, just go over to your registration. Uh, and you'll find all the stuff that you've bought and registered down here. I have 3D Exchange Pipeline right here, and you can just go ahead and select Download. And then you'll it'll pop up with the window that includes all of the files that come included with this uh, program. Okay, the main file, a couple of resource packs, and the DAS Genesis extension, which we're going to be using. And this is version 4, so this is the fourth version, the fourth up update of this Genesis extension. Okay, let's go ahead and download that, and just go to our, into our download folder. So what this does is this allows us to more accurately animate our character in iClone. And we'll talk about that in just a moment. So I'm just going to go ahead and unzip this real quick. Extract here. And we'll go into the main. So you'll end up with a DAS Genesis extension folder like this. I'd recommend putting it somewhere more permanent than your downloads folder. But in this case, I'll just go ahead. It'll be okay for the purposes of this demo. Okay, so what we're going to do is you can see here there's this muscle mapping Excel file. We don't need to worry about that right now. There's a readme file. We can read that later. <laughs> okay. We'll go into the DAS Genesis to iClone folder. Okay. So in here, you'll find a number of different folders for uh, Genesis 3 and Genesis 8 characters, both male and female. And you'll find the uh, face key files here for Genesis 1 and Genesis 2 characters. And they all have kind of similar procedures for, for exporting. Okay. And then we also have this Genesis avatar face key sequence. And we'll talk about that in just a moment. But since we're going to be using a, a Genesis 8 mail in this uh, tutorial here, I'm going to go into that folder here, and you'll find this file, How to Use Genesis 8 DUF File. Okay, so let's click on that and open that up. And step one, it's pretty simple. All you got to do is copy the folder, Reillusion, which is this folder right here, to this path. Okay, your path may be different, but this is generally the path that you're going to use. Okay, so what you want to do is just go ahead and copy this, okay, and I'm going to go and just press Control N to open up a new uh, Explorer window and just paste that right there. Okay, so I've already actually copied that uh, that folder here. So what you want to do, if you don't have it already copied, is you just want to you know click and drag or right click and copy, and you want to paste it into this folder, this one right here. Okay, this is the um, the file path that you want to copy it to. Okay, so once you have this here, then you'll be able to your your DAS Genesis 8 character in DAS will be able to access these blend shapes or these uh, morph targets here. So go into the Reillusion folder and facial expression data, and here you can find a whole bunch of Dyson files. All right, and these are individual blend shapes in DAS. Okay, a uh, whole ton of them for facial expressions and for uh, Visim shapes for your automatic lip sync and everything like that. Okay, so once you've copied that, make sure you do that before, and you may need to do that before you open DAS. Uh, it really depends, but uh, just go ahead and do that first. That's the first step. And then, second step, you want to open DAS and drag the DUF file, which is this one right here, this iClone base key file. You want to drag that onto the character you want to export. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's close down Chrome right now. We don't need Chrome anymore. And let's go over to DAS and just kind of whip up a really quick character here. We'll go to a uh, content library and we're going to be using uh, people, Genesis 8 male uh, character. We're going to be using Edward 8. So we'll throw Edward 8 in there. 
give him some quick clothes, maybe a long coat outfit. Let's give him a t-shirt here. And I'll provide links in the description for these two packs as well. Okay. And yeah, D-Force casual pants. All right, let's just make him look casual and cool here. All right, there there you go. There's uh, Mr. Edward. Let's just go ahead and uh, zoom in on his uh, face here. Up there, there we go. And uh, you know, a little bit there. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to apply the uh, DUF file to our character's face, and that'll import all the different expressions that are customized for use with iClone's facial animation tools. So right now, if you go under posing, you'll have, uh, whoops, click over that over there. Under posing, you'll have all the general like pose controls, like, uh, you know, stuff like this, um, you know, brow up and down and, and so on and so forth, you know, mouth, top lip and blah, blah, blah. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to import in our own uh, DUF file to uh, create custom morphs. Okay, so let's go to our scene here. Or you can just select your character's head. Make sure you have the head selected, first of all. And then go back into that Explorer folder here. And you just want to click and drag this DUF file directly onto your character's head. Apply directly to the forehead. There you go. Okay, and it'll say we want to extend the amount of frames in the scene. No problem. Go ahead and press yes. Okay, and then the first thing you want to do at this point here is you want to change your frames per second from 30 to 1. Because we don't need 30 frames per second. We only have uh, a number of different blend shapes here. And you can see as we scrub through our timeline, here are all the blend shapes for the facial expressions. And then we have these ones over here that are used for uh, the Visine lip sync shapes. And if you want to find which frame contains, contains which blend shape, uh, what you can do is you can go to the uh, folder right here. And uh, let's go back to the main folder here. The Dagenesis iClone. And then open up this Excel file here, Daz Genesis Avatar Face Key Sequence, and it'll open up Excel. And you'll find the workflow tab for G1 and G2 characters and G3 and G8. We're going to cover this, so I don't need to worry about this right now. But the most important one is the face key sequence. Okay, so if you want to create your own or customize your own in Daz, this is the, the key sequence you need to follow. Okay, so, uh, you know, frames 1 to frames 60 are all, uh, you know, facial expressions, uh, cheek movements and, and everything like that. Uh, there's the jaw stuff for frame 61 to 66, and then 67 to 81, and the rest here are all for, like, uh, um, uh, the Visim shapes and everything like that. Okay, so if you want to use this as a reference, you can. If you want to customize your own, let's close down that Excel file for now. And of course, you, you can find all the uh, pose controls in here under head for uh, cheek and everything like that. So it'll all come in here. Okay, and there's lips and uh, tongue as well. And you can mess around with these on your own time. Okay, we're not going to worry too much about that right now. We just want to export this character um, from Daz. Okay, so that's really about all you need to do. And then you go up to File and Export. And we'll just export him to the desktop. Sure, we'll call him Edward and save that to our desktop. Now there's a couple things you need to do here in the F FBX export options. Uh, the first thing you want to do is make sure you choose FBX 2011 uh, binary, okay? This is the most important. Uh, you need to choose this version, otherwise you'll have some issues. Um, so I recommend using this uh, 2011. Recommend, not recommend, demand, okay? If you want it to work. Okay, and all the other settings need to be uh, similar to the ones here. And you also need to make sure you select edit morph export rules. Okay, and I've already added this rule here, but if you don't have the rule already, you can just select add and you want to make sure you type in head with a period at the end. So head dot. Okay, and then you want to change from bake to ignore. Okay, so we don't need that. I've already added it. Uh, so we'll just delete that name one. Okay, just so make sure you have this rule and then just go accept head dot and action ignore. And let's go ahead and accept and accept. And we should be able to export that Daz character in no time. All right, so once that's finished export and we can close down Daz, we no longer need it. So we don't need to save this scene for now. And let's go into 3D Exchange. Make sure you have 7.21 if you're exporting a Daz Genesis 8 character. Okay, and then we'll go ahead and just uh, open up that FBX file. Uh, it was on our desktop, I believe. And Edward, there we go. Okay, so what's going to happen now is let's go ahead and press OK. It's going to import in the character. It's going to automatically uh, recognize it as a Daz Genesis 8 character. It's going to set up an automatic T-pose. 
So you no longer need to characterize your character. Uh, it's a lot faster from the previous versions. So we'll talk, we talk about this in the, uh, DAS Genesis 8 conversion care, or conversion tutorial that I talked about earlier. Uh, but for now, let's go ahead and just press, uh, yes. See, it recognizes it as a DAS Genesis character, uh, here. And just go ahead and press OK. And the next part is going to ask us if we want to optimize the material settings for the skin and the eyes and everything like that. If you may recall in previous versions, sometimes your character would import with clouded eyes and stuff. And of course, we cover that in more detail in that uh, tutorial I talked about earlier. All right, so there is uh, Edward all complete and all set up. Again, the T poses, everything everything is correct. All the materials are correct. If we zoom in on the eyes, you can see we're all ready to go. Let's take a quick look at the expression editor for our character, uh, just to take a look at those uh, blend shapes imported incorrectly, which I'm certain they did. All right, so expression editor close to the bottom here. There we go, face that up, <laughs> expression editor. And let's move our head over here a little bit. And let's just make those bones invisible, okay? So you can test this out uh, with your head tab. Make sure that all the movements are correct. Rightward, tilt, left, tilt, uh, right. And the eye movements as well. Make sure that those are correct. And you can modify those as well if you want to make them stronger. Okay, all the jaw movements. Um, there's all the visine shapes for your uh, lip sync. Ooh, ee, er, ah, and all that stuff. Okay, and the muscles. All right, so you can see tons and tons of different uh, muscles for facial expressions. We can go all the way down here. Uh, cheeks suck in, cheeks blow, and all kinds of uh, more detailed and distinct facial expressions. Like I mentioned before, uh, it's much more detailed from the previous version. Okay, so you can expand uh, on or kind of test all these all in your own time, and you can go into the morph shapes here and uh, you know adjust whatever ones you want for the for the respective uh, blend shape. Okay, but uh, from now on, we'll just go ahead and uh, close this down. Just make sure everything is okay. And then you can go ahead and export your character. So let's do that. Let's export him to uh, uh, iClone format here. So go up to Control E or export like this. And we'll just call him, uh, I think I have Edward 1 and 2 already. So let's just do Edward 3, okay? Uh, max texture size 2048. We don't need to export animation. Let's just save it to our default iClone custom folder there and press OK. Okay, so once we're in iClone, what we're gonna do is just quickly test out the uh, the facial animation. Okay, so let's go ahead and press OK and close this down. Let's go to iClone. There we go. And we need to go to our Actor tab up here, the Custom tab. And we'll find uh, under, uh, rather, Actor, Avatar, uh, Custom, and then into your Character folder here. And then we need to find Edward 3. There we go. The third iteration of Edward. Okay, so once he's in, there he is. All right. We can just zoom around, take a look at him. Looks Fine and handsome. Okay, so to demo the facial uh, animation, I'm going to use a more beautified kind of scene here. I have some uh, global illumination and some better lighting on our character here. All right, so you can go over to your animation tab and just choose the face puppet tool. I'm going to demo this briefly for you here. Now you can choose from a whole list of profiles, a whole ton of them here. We'll talk about uh, that more in separate tutorials. Uh, but you have full facial profiles down here as well. Uh, these all correspond to the Q, W, E, R, T, and Y hotkeys. You can see angry, sad, happy, and scared. If you want to preview them, just press uh, space to preview. Okay. And you can see this is a regular one. If I switch to the W hotkey, I'll get, get a more smiley expression like that. Okay. Pretty cool. And R is a, an angrier expression. Or sorry, that E is an angry expression. Um, R is the more sad expression. And T. You get a really happy expression. If you think the uh, expressions are too strong as well, I'll show you where you can actually uh, reduce the strength. Uh, the Y one here is kind of a sad or, or worried expression like this. Okay, You can click your mouse button to blink, blink your character's eyes as well. All right. uh, you can also tone down the strength here. So say, for example, I thought that happy one was a little bit too strong around the lips there. I can reduce the strength there and just select that happy one, and you can see it'll be a bit more uh, natural and relaxed. Uh, in addition to that, you can also uh, press this Erase uh, Clear tool up here and let's bring our strength back to 1. And you can puppet individual parts as well. So if I wanted to, you know, puppet uh, my character's eyebrows in, in the middle, uh, between his eyebrows, for example, separately, uh, we can press the Space key and do that separately. Right? From side to side, you can see his eyebrows kind of moving up. Nice, smooth, uh, blend shapes kind of just blending together to create this animation. And maybe throw in something like uh, the uh, mouth and uh, upper eyelids as well. I like to use the eyelids and the eyes together. And I'll show you why in just a moment here. 
Uh, if you do that, and you press space to preview, you can see that with the eye movement, uh, the eyelids will actually move along where the eyeballs move. Okay, so when they move down, you'll see the eyelids will actually lower down like this, okay, which we didn't have in previous versions. A pretty cool feature, all right? It's kind of like a sly smirk on his face, just like this. Okay, we can also, you know, throw in stuff like the chin and maybe the uh, entire mouth. Let's just uh, double click to remove the lips there and maybe do something like the forehead as well. Now, in addition to, uh, you know, selecting these items, you can select exact, or these facial features rather, you can select exactly how they move. So say, for example, you know, I selected the uh, this cheek, for example. Uh, there's an option to have the cheek blow out, have the cheek uh, lift up like this, I have the cheek raise, or this one's all blow and raise. This one's raise. So if I just, you know, have it like this, you can have like a kind of, uh, kind of a concerned look on his face maybe. And with this chin selected, you'll have the chin kind of, or the mouth will open when you have the chin selected as well. Okay. And if we change this uh, left cheek here to blow, we move it out like that, you'll see it'll kind of blow out more like that. Okay. As opposed to uh, this one here is just kind of, moving it up and down, all right? All right so very, very detailed facial expression. And uh, you, know, you can just throw in whatever you want and uh, have fun with it and make all kinds of weird expressions and fun stuff on your own time. And we also have facial motion capture uh, using Faceware. Okay, you can do this using a webcam. You can see uh, my good friend Anouk here is kind of demoing it for us uh, just using the Faceware plugin. Very accurate and very awesome looking facial animation in just seconds. You know, using your own face and just, just a simple webcam, you can get results like this, which is pretty cool. All right, so that's about all I wanted to talk about in this tutorial, guys. Hopefully you learned a lot. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed the new enhanced uh, pipeline, bringing your DAS Genesis 8 characters into iClone. If you have any questions or you want more discussion, you can check out our forums over at forum.reillusion.com. And I hope to see you in the next video.